theta equals twice inverse tan of minus 3 fourths. Find cosine theta and sine theta. First step, I'm going to let theta prime be equal to inverse tan of minus 3 fourths. I'm going to set up the right triangle, and I'm going to find the sine and cosine that goes with this angle. Now, we have theta prime equals inverse tan of minus 3 fourths. That's the same as saying tan of theta prime equals minus 3 fourths, and the angle is between minus pi halves and pi halves. So the way I remember where the ranges are, note minus pi halves, pi halves, that's where cosine is going to be equal to zero. That's where tangent is going to be undefined. Okay, so that means we're going to be down in quadrant four. Now, let's draw the right triangle, okay, forgetting about the sine that's on our tangent. So we're going to have tangent of our angle is opposite over adjacent. So we're going to have our opposites of three, our adjacents of four, so we'll need to find the hypotenuse. So if I use the Pythagorean theorem, we'll have three squared plus four squared equals hypotenuse squared. Hypotenuse is gonna be equal to five. Then what do we have? So the cosine is gonna be an absolute value, four fifths. The sine is gonna be three fifths, an absolute value. And then I just need to know how to put the signs in. So if we use the cast method, we'll have cosine in quadrant four, and then I go counterclockwise. So cosine, all, sine, tangent. And the name that I just put out for each quadrant, that's gonna be positive, the rest are gonna be negative. So in quadrant four, cosine's positive, sine and tangent are negative. That means cosine is four fifths, sine is minus three fifths. So that's our first part. For the next part, we're just gonna use the double angle formulas. So what do we have? I'm gonna have cosine of two, theta prime is just cosine squared of theta prime minus sine squared theta prime. So now I just stick in. So I have 4 fifths squared minus, minus 3 fifths squared. That gives me 16 minus 9 over 25, and I get 7 over 25. Next, we'll have sine of 2 times theta prime. So we have double angle for sine. It's going to be 2 times cosine theta prime, sine theta prime. Put our cosine and sine in we get minus 24 over 25. Things are looking good. If you notice, our numbers are the numbers that would go with 7, 24, 25, right triangle. Okay, so how do we check? Two things. First, take the sum of the squares, we should get a one. So if we work it out, that's gonna happen. So that checks. Another thing I could do, we could check and see what's happening with doubling the angle. So what we'll do is, we'll figure out what our original angle was. So if I use inverse sine, say, take inverse sine on our sine, the original sine, that was minus 3 fifths. So if I take inverse sine in my calculator, I get 323 degrees. So I expect, if I double that, that's gonna give me 646 degrees. That better be the angle that goes with inverse sine of minus 24 over 25. Okay, if I work it out, what's gonna happen is we'll get 286 out of our calculator, and that's just gonna be off from 646 by 360 degrees, so that checks also.